Today Andrea will show you all the things she got in the south of France recently. As you know, Andrea usually does second-hand and winter shopping, but she makes a big exception when on holiday. And so she went a little bit cray-cray and bought a lot of things. Nice things, but many nonetheless. And rather than just showing you what I got, I will also obviously show you how I would style the items. So, only one thing left to say before we start. Let's do it! This is the first thing I got. A beautiful, dreamy Sandra skirt. I think it's currently my favorite skirt. I think you were a linen blend and she's simply gorgeous. Let's put her on. Beautiful. But because the skirt is slightly shiny and the top isn't and they're different shades of white, they don't 100% work together. Not good. So if you also have a linen item and you can't really find anything that matches, I've got a hot tip for you. Pair your linen item with some MAC by Magic because metallics pretty much go with anything. And this is good, it's good. I'm thinking this Morgan Bolero could work really nicely. And I will just close it with a brooch. Let me show you what I mean. This is the Bolero. And I'm opting for this beautiful vintage brooch. Let's pop it on. Nice, nice. Now let's change the earrings. Because the Bolero is a warm metallic and because the brooch is gold, we need gold earrings. I'm opting for my rose gold hoops because whilst they are long, which I think complements my face shape, they're also quite dainty because they're thin. Nice. Now let's add another purchase from the south of France. I've worn them a lot already. They don't look new. There we go. Let's add a bag. Cute. And this is how I'd style my new Sandro linen skirt. Fantastic. The next purchase is probably one of my favorite ones because it's really cute. Chérie, come here. Je viens, je viens. So cute. I still have the label on. It's by a brand called Le Voyage en Panier. Focus, focus. It has the super sweet cherry lining and a drawstring element for extra safety. And this is good. It's good. And what's also good is that I already have matching earrings. Look, these ones have little bubbles. There, just like the bag. Nice. I like it. Je t'aime, mon chéri. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Now I'd like to show you two tops that look amazing as part of an elevated blue jeans outfit. Top number one, a cute knitted number by a brand called Art Love. So pretty. There it is. I think it's cute. Certainly a nice alternative to your basic t-shirt. But for all those t-shirt lovers out there, got something for you because Andrea got herself a t-shirt. It's another Sandro number and it has crystals. So pretty. Gorgeous. Look at my shoulder. Fantastic. Magpitastic. Let's spice up the outfit with my sparkly bag. And we have a cool Magpitastic outfit. Very nice. I like it. Let's try this t-shirt with some white leg trousers. Also cute. Next up is this gorgeous skirt, which in a previous video I paired pretty much with all black. But now I'm thinking we could just use the same principle as with the linen skirt and wear it with a metallic top. I think it looks nice. Why not fully embrace our inner magpie? Actually, I wonder whether I could combine the skirt with this top. It's by Essential Antwerp and I got it for five pounds. Nice. I'm thinking it might work because it's glittery and it has a similar shade of green in it. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, so this is obviously not the final look. Don't worry. Let's see whether we can make it work. First, let's tie it in the back. This I don't like. So, you know what's coming now. Shove, shove. Nice. Let's let the bow peek out. Yep. Ah, I've got one tip for you. Under skirts, I usually wear shorts like this. And the cool thing about that is that you can shove the top into the shorts to avoid any bulging. I shall go do that now off camera. Although there's not really much bulging, but still. Shove, shove. And I'm back. And I think I quite like it. Looks unusual, but in a good way. Shoes. Hmm. This time I kind of feel like hiding the waistband. Sandra, I'm coming. Okay, Sandra, can you hide the waistband for me, please? Of course. Let's do it. Nice work, Sandra. Thank you. Okay, in terms of bag, in an ideal world, I'd opt for a red metallic bag to bring a little bit more balance into the outfit. But I only have this dark burgundy Vivian Westwood clutch and it doesn't really work. So let's go with this one instead. I will give you time to guess which brand this bag is from. Yes. Yes, it's also from Sandro. So this is my new Sandro bag and I love it. Because 
You've got enough space for your phone inside. It has a fun magnetic pocket and a secure buckle. And because it's metallic, it obviously goes with everything. And if you don't want the chain, you just pop it in and have a fancy clutch like this. Sorry, I gotta try Belinda. I just have to. Belinda, I'm coming. Let's not use the silver side. Let's use the black one. Let's hide the bow. Let's add black shoes. Cute. As always, Belinda delivers. Now I'd like to show you this gorgeous skirt. Hi. Hello, Albert. What do you want now? What do you want now? Who's a cuddle mouse? Let's say hello. Ooh. Schnookums. Okay, I gotta go feed Albi. Albi, let's go. So that's the skirt. And I love it. Actually, I quite like the outfit as it is. Perhaps with a gold bag. It's simple, but elegant. But I'd like to show you another version. It's another magpie version. So, I've got this vintage Frank Asher sequin top. And it's gorgeous. It has iridescent sequins. Very mermaid. And I like it. So let's pop it on. Let me leave the frame for a second. Shove, shove. And that's the top on. It's quite cute, but I think I'd like to give the outfit a few tweaks. First of all, to make the outfit work more with my hair, which as you can see is rather dark, I will ask Alia for help. Alia! I'm coming. Hello, Alia. Hello, Andrea. Let's cinch me in, Alia. Let's do it. Shove, shove the skirt under the belt so that the waistband disappears completely. Nice. I like it. But I feel we can do better with the earrings. And I have an idea. As you can see, Ali is a black patent leather lady, meaning she's black and shiny. So I'd like something black and shiny in my ears. Now I know my hair is black, but let me show you what I mean. I've got these long black shiny earrings and I think they would look really nice. Let's see. It's subtle, but it's there. Now I'd like to change into my Stuart Weitzman heels because the peep toe and Alia's cutout match really nicely. Wonderful. I just thought of a trick with the waistband. You can just fold it in and then put Alia on top. This way you won't have any waistband peeking through. See? Okay, which bag? The round one or the rectangular one? Hmm, I think I'll go with this one because it kind of mirrors the fluidness of the outfit. And that's how I'd style this skirt. Okay, next. I also got myself a really cute wrap dress by Etam. I really like the colors. So pretty and happy. You know, just a cutesy little dress for around the house. Or to the beach. It's comfortable, breathable and just perfect when you want to look a little bit cute around the house. Because let's face it, most of the time I just wear a slouchy t-shirt and some boxer shorts. But sometimes we just want to make a little bit more of an effort. And popping on a cute dress is an easy solution. And that's it. That's all I got. But before you leave, please tell me what video format you prefer. When I make long videos like this, do you prefer long horizontal videos or long vertical videos? Because I'm aware that many of you are on your phones. That's why I shot this video vertically. But still, let me know your preference. Thank you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.